All right, chips of the day. <clears throat> we have three of them today. These are all uh, the same type of parts, so I thought I'd combine them into this single video. So these are all N-channel MOSFETs. Great for just pulling things down to ground, turning things on and off, using them kind of as a open, an open collector from the old days. You do it with N-channel these days, and it's a whole, whole lot better. Um, this one is a 40 volt 3 amp, 30 volt 4.4 amp, and a 30 volt 3.6 amp, so very, very similar. Uh, the part number here is a PMV60ENEAR. Uh, this one is a PMV26NEAR. <laughs> this one is a SI2300DS. T1GE3. Um, yeah, they all have long names, but they're all going to be basically the same thing. So I thought we would uh, first test them on a uh, on a component tester. Let's use let's use this one here. I think it photographs better. Um, so let's get this in the camera. There we go. So let's uh, let's try this one out. And it says it's a MOSFET, NMOS, uh, voltage uh, 0.62 volts, threshold of 1.73, 0 0.01 ohms. Okay. Come on. Point six one volts. Set one point six three volts. Point zero one ohms. Yeah, these look like the same part, right? And let's put this one in here. And oops. yeah, that one's not really working very well. This socket's a little bit screwed up. There we go. Point six one volt. One point one nine volt. Point zero one ohms on. So. They're all going to be basically the same. So um, you kind of have to choose, you know, what you need and what you don't need. So 40 volt, 30 volt, 30 volt, 3 amp, 4 amp, 3 amp. Eh, I don't know. They're all going to be basically the same. So I'm not sure why, uh, why you need to look too hard for these things. There's probably other considerations. But usually when I use these N-channel MOSFETs, it's just pulling things down um, and turning things on, uh, turning on light bulb. I will do that. We'll just set something up and show you how these are generally used. All right, so our tester said um, pins one, two, three were source, drain, gate. So source, drain, gate. And so we're going to have a, a load here and have plus V. Okay. So I'm going to have our loads, our voltage is going to be 12 volts in and our load's going to be a uh, high current LED. This is a 12 volt, 12 volt LED. And we're just going to turn this thing on. So if the gate is low, nothing's going to happen. If the gate is high, it's going to turn on. All right. So let's turn it on and bang <laughs> it gets really really bright okay and uh we can look up there and we can see we're about 130 milliamps that's pretty healthy and we're able to turn the sky on with a little tiny sot23 and yeah not getting warm at all so there you go yeah, 0 0.01 ohms on, right? These things are just really, really good about that. Um, let me go ahead and turn it back off. Let's see what's going on. So that's how they're generally used. Um, they're, uh, you looked at the turn on voltage. This thing told you the turn on voltage here, the VT. So this one's 1 1.7. As long as, as long as you had more than 1.7 volts here on the gate, it's gonna turn on. So they're great for driving with you know, five volt logic, 3.3 volt logic, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's gonna be able to turn these guys on and then you'll be able to uh, source a lot of sync. I always say source a lot of current, but sync a lot of current. Sync, source, anyway, sync a lot of current. And um, yeah, there you go. 
Okay, that one was the PMV60. We'll do the PMV28. Same pin out. And uh, turn him on. Dun, da, da, da. It works too. And then we will try the uh, SI. All right, so they have, uh, this is the SI part. They all have the same, uh, they all have the same pen out, which is really, really nice. All right, there you go, chips of the day. It was a PMV 60 E N E A R and a PMV 28 E N E A R and a SI 2300 DS T1 GE3, all in SOT 23 packages. Thank you.